A huge moo to the herd and welcome back to our playthrough of Rise of Industry. A uh, very quick recap on where we got to in our last video. Um, we had completed our initial setup of bottles. Uh, we have our bottling plant now producing bottles. We have a trade route with trucks going from uh, our area up here all the way down to Chillingham and dropping bottles off to here and we also went bankrupt which wasn't really a great start to the game so we had to take an emergency loan from the state uh, that came with a very generous 25 percent interest rate so if you look at our loan repayment we now have minus 187 thousand dollars a month in loan repayments however i'm feeling positive so we'll see how we progress so we are waiting for trucks, and I think they're just coming in now to deliver bottles, which is perfect. So if I go to our brewery and distillery and we go over brandy, uh, you'll see that we need seven units of wine and three bottles. We also need to do some research. So let's get that underway right now. Uh, we go to liquor and we go click on brandy. Now that's going to cost 5.6 million and take 168 days. Hmm. Dull. That's a pain. Because uh, we don't have 5.6 million. So, in the interim, we're going to uh, not panic. Uh, although, a significant part of me is going, just panic, it's easier. And we're going to see what we can do. So we might need to think about our second entry, which is going to be hard cider. So we'll go to our research and go to food. Is it food? Drinks, apparently, because apples are drinks. Yeah, who knew? Right, so let's start doing some research on apples. Now, there is a reason for this, because the apples we can turn into hard cider. But, more importantly, we can sell them to Chillingham, this farmer's market. So that gives us a bit of time to play with. All right, so we are making money still, so we are still producing wine, unless of course we get another strike from the uh, brewery and distillery. Oh, what's that, an R&D alert. That means my apples have been done, yay. So I'm gonna start renaming these. So this is gonna be wine one because I'm very imaginative with my names and this will be wine two all right we have a surplus of water if I check the warehouse out we have lots of water so let's get some farms popped down we want some orchards and what we're gonna do is I'll put it into grid mode again it's so much easier to calculate things. All right, so it's one, two, three, five. Yeah, it is five. So I want to go one line there, get you as roughly in line as possible, and pop you just there, actually. And we'll pop the first one of our watches down. And hopefully. I've got this right, I've not messed it up. Mm, need plenty of apples, and that's exactly what it's set to. So the last thing to do is drop our road in. And drop that in a nice straight line down to there, and to there. And don't forget to overlap, otherwise it's not actually connected. So this will go out and get water. And again, we need two water per field. So we need 10 water. So we're gonna eat through our water reserves relatively quickly. Um, but it will all be worth it in the end. So we're going to produce, I've got five fields, so we're going to produce 10 apples every 30 days. Now, how many apples do I need in Chillingham? Let's take it out of grid mode because it, it's great for laying things out, but moving around not so much. Okay, so I need eight every 15. So that's 16 every 30 days. So I'm going to need another orchard. All right, so let's get our farm in place. And spin you around so you fit. Make sure you're five across. That's three, four, five. Yep. 
Have I messed that up? I have. Right. No, it shouldn't matter, but it does. Try this again. Ding, ding, ding. Right. One, two, three, four. Is it four across? One, two, three, four. What is four across? Well, that's why my maths were terrible. All right, drop you in there. And drop our orchards down. Yeah, I know there's a pathing alert. Okay, and we'll connect our road up. You across there. And we'll just tidy this up a little bit. Can I get into that one? No, apparently not. Why not? Oh. No. It won't let me delete it. All right, all right, I can I can live with it. I can live with it. I'm just gonna go fixed. All right, so we are gonna need to increase the amount of water that we're producing. So if I go to our water siphons and just add in additional high harvesters, uh, is that a good one to do? No, I think that one there would be a better one to do. And then we'll take this one. Add an additional harvester in here. Whee! And we'll just connect that up to the road network. Great. So that should increase our water. Because whilst we've got a surplus at the moment, that won't last long. So we now got two apples per field, five fields, ten apples every 30 days, two farms, that's 20 apples every 30 days and what we need is 16 every 15 days uh, sorry 16 every 30 days which is fine so we now have apples we now have grapes so our little drinks empire is starting to come together now however our money isn't so much well we did spend a lot of money in building the orchards and everything else so not the end of the world However, can we make some money? Who needs sand? Does anyone want sand? Is it worth selling sand? I don't think it is. Ooh, Brandon's grown. And it now has construction goods. And they need glass. Hmm. But are they producing glass themselves? Don't know. Let's find out. We click Alt. Ah, yes, see, they've got a glassworks and smelter producing glass. And that will be for their diodes, etc. So if I try and supply glass to them, you see the price is already down. If I try and flood the market with glass as well, then I would just be end up uh, regretting it considerably. I am curious as to where they're getting their coal from, because they don't actually have any coal. Unless they're shipping it in from Worsted, which does have coal. I suppose it's possible. I don't know if there's any way of seeing which trade routes they've got. No, doesn't appear so. I am looking forward to the uh, patch where you can actually buy the AI's buildings. It will make things more interesting, I think. So, how are we getting on? They're using our roads. How dare they? How very much dare they? All right, you're obviously looking to buy or build light bulbs. Deliver 16 to Byland. Right. So Byland is... That's going to give us 2.8 million. And how many? Year 6. In about 6 months. 16 wine, no. So I'm not going to do that. And the reason being is I don't actually have a surplus of wine. So whilst it would be a big cash injection, uh, I wouldn't be able to achieve it, especially in six months. So we'll leave that one for the time being. Are we producing apples? We have 10 apples. I'll wait for that to hit 20 apples. And then we'll start selling those. So that'll be another influx of cash for the short term. I think that's one thing I have uh, should learn, I think, is to start smaller and build. So, for instance, if I thought about this, I should have just thought about, right, 
apples, grapes, selling that type of stuff off. Um, berries for such like, uh, for smoothies and like. But hey, we learn by doing. Or just following someone like um, KOS, who pretty much knows how these, to play these games in a heartbeat, so. Alright, another six apples. Four apples. Two apples. Do we have another two apples? And we'll queue up our destination. So, farm produce. Apples. Choose destination. Commercial. Chillingham Farmer's Market. And I'll start selling those. And again, that should help A, Chillingham grow, but B, help my profits grow. Because we're making a loss every month at the moment, and that's not good. We might have to start selling buildings. <gasps> what a horrible thought. Alright, let's see how Chillingham's getting on. Farmer's Market. So we're delivering the apples now at really fast speed. And we've got two days to get another three apples in there. It's not going to be a great deal of cash, but it should be enough. And that was perfect. And we made some cash. Phew. How are we doing with our wine? Again. We've got problems with wine delivery. Why have we got problems with wine delivery? Is our surplus out? No, I've got four in the warehouses. No, I'm not delivering wine to Chillingham. Decline. Sorry. And still declining that one. Right, so wine's on its way. That give us more money as well, as long as they do it in the next eight days. Our truck depot is deploying glass. How much glass have we got sitting there? Sixteen. So we've got a nice backlog. Uh, backlog surplus. Not backlog. Okay. We do seem to be backing up in terms of our storage. So we really want to get this brandy production up and running. Don't quite have the cash for it at the moment. Hmm, what can we sell? What have we got surplus on? Because, uh, I suppose, does anyone want the grapes? Let's have a look. Let's go to destinations, farm produce, grapes, choose destination. Who wants them? Byland Farmer's Market. That's a long way to sell. It's like 290 tiles, and if I remember correctly, Byland is where I was. Byland is all the way down here. Hmm. We would make a reasonable amount of cash, but it's the it's the 15 days that's the problem. So. Because it's going to take longer than 15 days. So we'd have to make sure we had a huge surplus there. And if it was high value goods, then it'd be worth it. But for our initial goods, my gut says it's not worth it at the moment. Alright, so we are still making some money. Not enough though, but we are making money. Uh, how can I make things go a bit smoother? Berries. Uh, mm, not sure about that. Sugar. Does anyone want soda water? Uh, I think that's done at a restaurant, so maybe not. Orange fields for our orange juice. No one wants that at the moment. Let's have a look at Chillingham and see what they actually want. Farmer's Market. So they want veggies. Milk. So that's quite an expensive undertaking because you need to put uh, livestock fields down for cows. 
but you also need to put wheat farms down to produce the food for the cows to then produce milk leather and beef so not exactly what we're after uh, they want berries but we're not going to get a great price for them coca mm, possibly hops could put hops down they do want hops so might be an option for us chickens hmm water and wheat for chickens again we need to put wheat farms down it's not impossible it's not impossible yep we we'll have to think about this one we did make 685,000 last month so we did actually make a profit uh, of 277,000 so we're actually going in the right direction which is really good it's exactly what we're after uh, our liquor store uh, hopefully is going to be provided with liquor it might miss a cycle by the looks of things yeah I think we're going to miss on that one which is a shame because that's money we could have had so we're just relying on our apple sales at the moment so is there a backlog here? I mean, everything's being produced. Wine's being produced there. And there. Hmm. Just a bit too slow, it would appear. Oh, I've just seen something new come up. So, as I said at the start, one of the things we want to do is grow our towns. And Chillingham has just hit the 200,000 mark. Which means we now have a new store, a bookstore, which is very good because uh, we can also start producing books. So what do we want? Books, they're produced at paper mill and they require printed paper. Printed paper requires parchment and ink. Newspapers require printed paper and ink and deluxe books require printed paper and leather. So a significant investment required for our bookstore um, and it all starts with lumber. And berries, strangely enough, um, because you use the berries to make... No, sorry, not berries. That's the clothing, I think, if I remember correctly. If I go to paper mill, ink is coal. And I've got coal and I've got water, so I could start making ink. We To make printed paper, we'd need parchment and heavy pulp. No, actually, we just need parchment. We don't need heavy pulp at all that's for cardboard panels and cardboard so parchment printed paper lots of research yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce our research down to 250,000 we're still not in a position to be able to afford to do things at the moment uh, our net income last month was 4.84 thousand dollars not great I'm playing up. All right, so we haven't actually made a great deal of progress um, on this one. We have put our orchard in. We are selling apples. So we'll think about what we're going to do next. We've got glass bottles coming down, which is brilliant. But we don't have enough money at the moment to research brandy. So that's got to be our priority because the minute we start selling brandy we're gonna really just blow away all of this uh, lingering debt so that's got to be our number one priority um, we're gonna kick that off for the time being so I go to my liquor and click start and that's gonna cost us 250,000 a bit of a risk um, <coughs> Excuse me, uh, but I think it's worth it just to get things underway. So, we are making very slow progress. In the next video, uh, we'll focus on getting our brandy production up and running, uh, and we'll look at how we can optimize the cash, maybe bring in some additional industries, um, just to, you know, low level of industries, try and really boost that cash levels up. So, 
thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a quick like. If you dislike this video, feel free to dislike it. Uh, if you've got any comments, things that I could do better, things that you'd like to see me doing, um, you know, anything obvious that I've missed, then please feel free to drop a comment in the comments box. And if you'd like to see my videos uh, and be notified, then please click on the subscribe button. Uh, it just leaves me to say have a very good day and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much.